Hello everyone, we are nearing the end of 2021. Can you believe that? And you know, all throughout the year, we always say, oh, I want to count my blessings because that's the biggest tip to stay positive. Now, how do we even summarize our blessings? So that's our topic for today. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie D and my goal is to empower you, to help you build your self-esteem. All right, so from January to December, I'm sure that we all went through good times and tough times. And during those tough times, we always say to ourselves, I'm gonna think of all the good things that happened to me. I'm gonna count my blessings. I appreciate things that I have. I love my imperfections. And every day we go through that. So it's always a good thing to have your journal. Every day before you sleep, you write down at least one thing that you were thankful for. It doesn't matter how big or how small, as long as it made you smile. Okay, how about all of those who are ending the year today and didn't really have a journal, didn't really record their happy things, happy moments. Here are some guidelines that I hope will guide you, count your blessings, and summarize them before the year ends because 2022 is going to be a good year for all of us if we set our minds to it. Are you ready? Get your paper and pen or even your journal and let's start counting. Number one, the people who love you who appreciate you, who listen to you, your parents, your children, your immediate family, your extended family, your supporters on social media, your friends, count them as among your blessings. You know what they say, we discover who our real friends are, even our family, during our hardest times. During the times when we are lost, especially when we have anxiety, when we have depression, because there's just so much stigma around mental health. Number two, places that you've been to. They could be cities or countries or restaurants or just parks or trails or stores or homes that you wanted to go to and you were finally able to visit them. Number three, we can also be thankful about clothes that we finally were able to fit in. They could be our old clothes. They could be new clothes that we never got to wear because we gained a few unwanted pounds. But of course, we are beautiful either way. But you know how it feels when you're able to finally wear the clothes that you've been wanting to wear. Rejoice, right? Number four, we are thankful for being able to recover from illness, from injury, from grief, from trauma. Number five, if you are finally able to forgive. Forgiveness is one of the most liberating states that we can be in. When we're finally able to move on, when we're finally able to acknowledge that we are not a victim and we are never going to be a victim because we have control over our lives. Forgiveness is taking care of yourself because you want to heal. Number six, did you just adopt a new pet? Did you just welcome a new pet into your home? Or did you get reunited with your furry pet that got lost? These are the things that you want to remember how hard it was when you didn't have one or when you lost your pet. Number seven, and this is not very easy, accepting yourself for your flaws, for the flaws that you think you have, accepting yourself for your imperfections, for your weaknesses, and knowing that you are perfect with your imperfections, and knowing that you're unique, that no one is like you, that you are priceless. Number eight, if you are bullied, attacked, and you are able to stand up for yourself, speak out and voice your opinion without offending anyone, without harming anyone, then that's something that you are going to be really proud of. Number nine, I know we all have some form of a bucket list. So if you were able to do something on that bucket list, exercise or go to the gym, eat healthy, avoid sugar, stop drinking, avoid alcohol, stop doing drugs, being able to invest in something, most especially being able to invest in your health. Number 10 is really something that helps you move on, helps you face the future with a lot of hope, is to love yourself unapologetically, unconditionally. Love yourself, accept yourself, be proud of yourself every little step of the way. Believe in yourself. 
If you think that my channel provides you with information, inspiration, and some form of guidance, don't forget to like this video, share, and comment, and subscribe. Because my goal is to make you feel good about yourself. Together, we can empower one another. We rise as we lift one another. In this day and age, when there's so much negativity around us, we all gotta lift each other up. We all gotta fix each other's crowns if they are a little bit tipped. I wish you all the very best as we end this year and as we welcome 2022. Let's welcome it with pride, with gratitude, with hope, with good health, with a positive mind. Because if you have so much positivity in your mind, so much love within your heart, there is no way you're going to go wrong. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.